Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to dual boot Windows 8 with Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon. Now, to do this, I need to create a partition in Windows 8. So I'm going to bring back the computer icon to the desktop so I can make it easy to navigate. So just right click, personalize, change desktop icon, control panel, computer, user files, network, apply. OK, perfect. Now I have computer in my desktop. Now right click, manage, disk management, and now here I only have one drive which I'm going to partition for the Linux Mint 13 cinnamon. So just right click, shrink volume. Now here it tells me the available shrink space and the amount of space I'm going to use. I'm not going to use the full amount, 25 gigs. I'm just going to use 10 gigs. So it's, it's in megs, 10,000 megs, and then click on shrink. Perfect. I have created my 10 gigs partition for my Linux Mint 13 cinnamon. Now, place the disk in the drive and restart Windows 8. When you restart Windows 8, you should see something like boot from CD or DVD. If you don't see that, I have a link in the description box that can help you change the boot sequence on your computer so you can successfully boot out of the Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon disk. Here it is. Press the Enter key. Now here click on Install Linux Mint. Select the language. Continue. Now this here is just telling you that you need at least 5 gigs or more and that is connected to the internet. Uh, installation type, select something else. Continue. And now here we've we can see the uh, free space that we created in Windows 8, select it, and then click on Add. Now we're going to create a swap file, so make sure it's logical, and at least 10% of the partition. In this case is 1000 megs. Perfect. Make sure it's at the beginning. Use As, drop down, and select Swap Area. Perfect. OK. Now we have the swap area. Now we're going to use the remainder of the partition for Linux. So select the free space. Add. This time the partition is primary. I'm going to use the full amount for my Linux. And the location beginning, use as ext4 journaling mount point select root perfect ok alright now select the partition ext4 and then click on install now select your time zone your keyboard layout now here type your name Password, logging automatically, this is up to you. Continue. If you want to import any account, you can do so. Just check mark and continue. I'm not going to do that. So now it's going to install Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. Perfect. Now it comes up with this menu. I can choose whether I want Linux Mint or Windows 8. I'm going to select Windows Mint to finish the installation. Linux Mint installed successfully. Now I'm going to restart and see if I can go into my Windows 8. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.